Hey out there, it's David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist, educator, photographer. Want to tell you guys about a new piece of gear that I picked up and I'm really excited to get it. Uh, for some people out there who's been following the channel and you see all the instant film stuff I do, you'd be surprised that I have never picked one of these up until now. But that is the Fuji Instax Mini printer. This is the SP2. It's a gold edition. I got gold because it was the cheapest one on Amazon. Picked it up for around 90 bucks. I have been selling my Instax on eBay, Etsy, Instagram. My Fuji SQ10 is a camera and a printer, so I have been printing off a lot of stuff on the SQ10 square format, and that's been doing really well for me, but there are a lot of pictures that don't fit that square format very well, especially the ones that I shoot with my Fuji X-T2, my regular digital camera. I usually shoot vertical format because I'm mostly a portrait photographer and I'm working with models, uh, but even when I'm photographing my family out and about, I tend to go for a vertical format. So when you have to condense things down to a square to fit on the Instax square format, it really kind of messes up the feng shui of the whole thing. It's kind of a difficult process. It's not impossible and it doesn't, it isn't like take forever but uh, for me to get digital images onto the SQ10 to print them off it takes several steps and that might be several steps too many in today's uh, topsy-turvy fast-paced world so I picked this guy up and he connects via Wi-Fi to your phone and there is a special app for it once you have the photos in your photo library you just kick them right over to the Instax printer and it comes out as quick as it would from the camera. There is like less than 10 seconds between me choosing a photo, hitting print, and it coming out and starting to develop in the real world. And uh, that's not only been useful for digital images that I have from the past that I wanted to see as instant film versions, but for all this stuff I shoot with my family, all this stuff I shoot for uh, stock that I find myself photographing when I'm in a grocery store and the phone is the only camera I'm able to take in there. Any sort of circumstance where the only camera I was able to bring with me was the one attached to my phone. Uh, I'm now able to make little instant film prints and it is absolutely glorious. There are really no downsides to this piece of technology. I wish that Fuji was paying me to say things like that. They aren't and believe me when I say I'm not on Fuji's back all the time. I really hated the uh, Instax wide 300 camera that I reviewed almost a year ago, but this one they did the right thing. It uses the same battery as my Neo Classic, so even though this didn't come with a charger, it only came with the USB to plug into the computer, I'm able to use my Neo Classic charger and charge the battery in a lot faster than I would if I was to just plug it in USB on my computer. Now you might say to yourself, it's just a printer, what's the big deal? Uh, number one is that a lot of my really good, well-composed photographs are taken with my digital camera, the X-T2, but it's a lot easier for me to sell an Instax. I can sell them for cheaper, I can uh, sell them over and over and over again if I use a digital image and keep knocking off copies on my SP2. Another reason that this is a big deal for me is aesthetically, I just like instant film better. I have so many pictures that are uh, well composed, that have a good expression on the model, that are good images or great images by anyone else's standards, but I am a kind of person who loves a lo-fi aesthetic. I cannot stand to see the clarity, the sharpness of a digital image anymore. And I kind of feel that way about a lot of things in my life. Um, music, I prefer things that have atmosphere and lo-fi aesthetics when it's really clean and crisp. It looks and feels overproduced to me. Uh, same with movies, I prefer to watch movies with practical effects than anything with like clean, perfect digital effects. That is just who I am as a person. So I'm getting a lot of saleable images that have an aesthetic that I'm happier with and tend to be more well composed than the kind of images I get out of the Fuji Neo Classic or my Lomo Instant Mini camera. I'm also able to push some of the creative stuff that I like to do with Instant Film, specifically photo collages. There is a function within the app that splits your photo into two, or I could split it uh, as two horizontals, as two verticals, but you can also 
scale your image. So I can randomly scale a single photo, print out multiple iterations and tape those together and end up with a larger collage, one that I have uh, more options for composing because I can repeatedly print these things over and over and I can do it at my leisure without dealing with the things you have to deal with in the real world when you try to do a photo collage. Uh, if I am working with a model and we're outside at some park and we're shooting a photo collage, we might have a few minutes to do it and the images haven't developed and we walk away Maybe we gotta leave because it's not a place we're supposed to be shooting at. You never know when you're in Los Angeles. But in this case, I can just have all the photos that I've shot in my digital camera, maybe I shot them on burst mode, and I can compose it at my leisure and do things like make sure that eyes are in focus. I've always wanted to do photo collages that have gigantic eyes on little faces or little bodies. And so often in the shooting process, I forget to set the macro lens or I get the camera too close to the person, I cast a shadow, uh, I use the flash and that particular image is just too bright. That's not gonna happen with this printer. I am able to organize my thoughts, I'm able to organize my photos and have them print out in the way that I want to collage them. And finally, there's the benefit of being able to give gifts to people. If you are at a shoot, you work with a makeup artist, you work with a hairstylist, you got the model there. If you are able to knock off some copies really quickly, things you just shot on your phone or things that maybe uh, my X-T2 could Wi-Fi over to my phone so I could instantly knock off a print for them, you know, that kind of gift giving engenders so much goodwill towards you as the photographer. People think about your print every time they see it, they think good thoughts about you and you know, that is something I think a lot of uh, photographers forget about when they're dealing with other people is that kind of like a two-way street. You get the images, but you're really supposed to give something back to the people. Even if it's a trade shoot, you know, you want them to speak kindly of you because we live in a social media world and when people speak kindly of you, that's how you get more work or you get more people to buy your artwork. Anyways, for both instant film reasons, for digital photography reasons, I am really, really happy with this Instax Wi-Fi printer. They have an Instax Square Wi-Fi printer. I have my SQ10. Uh, I haven't really shot very much on it. I mostly use it as a printer. And if the day comes when that thing is acting a little squirrely, I'm definitely gonna invest in that as well. I wish Polaroid would make a Wi-Fi printer. I wish there was an Instax wide Wi-Fi printer. Hopefully there will be at some point. But in the meantime, you know, this thing is great for knocking out copies of work that I am super proud of. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.